Hey, hey, thank you so much for joining me for another episode of Talks with Tony. Got an email here today. In one second, my wife was just texting me to tell me that I am fine. Thank you, baby. I'm writing you because I'm in a place in my life where I really feel stuck. I'm coming up on my third wedding anniversary this month. And my husband and I have been separated for eight months. I found out during the last trimester of my pregnancy last year that he was cheating on me. Three weeks after the birth of our son, he left to go move in with his mistress. I recently found out the mistress is about nine months pregnant. Our son just turned nine months old. I have so many emotions and can't seem to see the blessing in all this. I have three children from a previous relationship that are almost all gone. My husband wanted this baby and God allowed us to get pregnant even when the odds seemed against me because of my age. I'm 42. I am angry because I didn't want to be a single mother again And I'm angry at myself because I sold myself short. There were some red flags and I didn't take heed. I have lost assets and I really feel played. When we got married, he moved into my home that we sold because he wanted a house that we can purchase together. Also, also I sold a rental property because he wanted to start a trucking business. Well, everything failed. We didn't move into our dream home because we couldn't afford it. The business failed and I don't know why. I lost a lot of money and he left with no regards to the sacrifices that I made. I paid for him to go to truck driving school and the job he has now is because of me. Many people told me I dodged the bullet. We have gone to our first court appearance and God gave me favor. I filed for a divorce three months after he left. I just need words of encouragement and suggestions on helping me move forward. I feel stuck. Please help me. Thank you so much for sending in this letter. Very deep, very deep. You're 42 years old. You know, you've lived a lot of life. You've seen some things. You've experienced some things. You now have four children. Your first three are almost gone. So you will get a little bit of a a, a break, so to speak, but you also said almost all gone. So you still are raising four kids. And if the other ones are, if some are over 18, as you know, we need you all our life. And so here you are with this man. The key that you said is that you missed some red flags. If you can understand that and write down the red flags that you missed and etch them into your memory so that moving forward, you vow to never ignore red flags again. Now, see, I don't know what your first three kids did or what they're doing, but if you got married and you had another child at your age and the child came out healthy and whole and ready to go, That is the blessing in this all. That might be your world changer. That might be your Joseph the dreamer. You remember Joseph was the youngest of his brothers in the Bible. I don't know if you read the story, but it's a story about Joseph. And he was the youngest and he became the second in command of the country. He was given power over all of Egypt, I believe it was. His brothers tried to destroy him. They tried to sell him. Throw them in the ditch. This man went from the, the ditch, from the dungeon to the kingdom, to the palace chair. This last child, your youngest child, might be, and nothing against your other three, might be the one that impacts the world and changes all of y'all's life. He might be the one that becomes second in command in the kingdom and makes life easier for all of you. So you have to see it as a blessing, see it as a blessing, continue investing in all four of your children. 
invest in their gifts, in, invest in their, their, their talents, their passions, spend money. I see you done had you some money. You done had you some money. Guess what? A woman like you, if you can get it and you can lose it, you can get it all over again. You say you lost assets. You've lost assets and you feel played. The fact that you had assets to lose, let me know that you're a boss. You're an absolute boss. You sold a rental property that you owned. You sold a house that you owned. It's not many women who got anything to sell. You had multiple homes to sell. Listen to me, sister, you're a boss. That right there, you got to tap back into that. You got to tap back into that. And this is what you have to realize. You 42 years old, you still a baby. When my grandma passed at 82, she would have called you a baby. Child, you a baby. Wait till you get up here with me. So my grandmother smoked cigarettes. She smoked like a chimney from the age of 19 and lived to 82. Listen to me, sister. If you living right, doing the right thing, you can see 100. That means you, you got 60 more years to live. You hear me? 60 is a lot of time. A lot of people have their best seasons and don't really step into their full true purpose in their 60s. How old is Oprah Winfrey? How old is Dr. Phil? How old is Steve Harvey? How old is the people that we see on television that we looking up to, you know, with power and influence? These people, 50s, 60s, you still a baby. So I want you to understand that and I want you to realize that your best is yet to come. And what I mean by this is that your season of blessings, you have not even entered the best part of your life. And this here man, this here man is a bum boy. He's a bum boy. He's a grown boy. You didn't say his age. He's a slickster. This type of man gets what he feels is the most he can get from a woman. And then he moves on to the next. So his mistress is his next victim. And whatever he can get out of her, and maybe she don't have assets like you had, but maybe she got good credit. Maybe he sees an angle that he can get in and use her. That's all he's doing. That's all he's doing. Because the way he did this so messy, and your, your, your youngest, your son is nine months old and she nine months pregnant. So he was sleeping with y'all at the same time. The way he did this so messy, he can't be trusted. He's a dog. He's a bum. He's a grown boy. He broke. He lost. He's hurting. He's dangerous. He's dangerous. He's insecure. An insecure, weak man is the most dangerous being on the face of this earth. Those are the men killing people in the streets. Those are the men killing their spouses, killing their babies. Weak, insecure men. You have to count your blessings. You got four kids, that's four blessings you can count. Count your blessings that you were just released from a weak and insecure grown boy because your best is yet to come and a man like this does not deserve to enter into that season. I don't know what your best may be. I just looked last night and I saw a, a 24 year old boy in Wisconsin won the $470 million Powerball. I don't know if that's going to be your best. <laughs> he, he bought $10 worth of Powerball tickets. He's 24. He said he'd been buying Powerball tickets since he was 18. He said he left work early because he felt lucky. Went to the store and bought $10. His whole goal in life at that point was just to get $1,000 in his bank account. Now he got $400 million. Understand, you don't know where your blessing going to come from, how it's going to come, what it's going to be. But the way the universe works is when you have a good heart and you're a good person, the universe will move people out of your life who don't deserve to go into your next level. You will lose friends who are toxic, spouse who is toxic, family members who are toxic. You will lose these people because you're shedding dead weight. 
So I want everybody to understand this right here. If you lose somebody because they did not value and respect you, let it go. Let it go. Smile. Look in the mirror and smile because that means your biggest blessings are on the way. And this is the universe making room and creating fertile ground so that your blessings have somewhere to take root and to reap a harvest. A harvest not just for you, but a harvest that will be a blessing to generations after you so that you will be able to leave homes to your kids, that your kids will be able to buy more homes and leave homes to your grandkids and your great grands. This is your blessing of separation. You got to have separation before elevation. And that's what this is. So don't lose any more sleep. Don't be down. Don't be in the dumps. Many people have told you you dodged a bullet and that is not a lie. They have not told you a lie. You went to your first court appearance and God gave you favor. Pray for more favor. Pray for more favor. Get your ducks in a row. Fight your best fight in that courthouse. Get all of the assets that you can get. Bring up everything. If you're doing it yourself or if you have an attorney, you need to show that he got a new woman, that she nine months pregnant, that he was cheating on you. Show all his character flaws. Show all of that so that the judge let you keep your assets and you ain't got to be paying him spousal support and put his butt on child support. So you want to ride off into the sunset with your little side woman? Okay, make sure my check in the mail for my son every month. Put it but on child support. You need to be at the child support office. If you ain't already went, you need to be there tomorrow morning. It open at 8, you need to be there at 730. You need to be at the window with your fist like this on the glass, 759. Being there right at the 8 a.m. Child support, we want it all. We want it all. Because for one, we're going to hold them accountable for being a bomb boy for being a grown boy, we're going to hold them accountable and, and, and make them pay the price. But hey, this Tony Gash, thank you so much for sending me your letter. You know I'm going to keep it real with you. If you have a question that you would like me to read, as you see, I read them anonymously. I don't say your name. You can send it to inbox at TonyGashman.com. If you don't want it read on the podcast, then don't send it to inbox at TonyGashman.com. If you need a one-on-one -on -one session with me, you can email support at TonyGaston.com. I make myself available a few hours a week so that I'm still able to connect with you all. So you can email support at TonyGaston.com. Hey, thank you so much. God bless you. We'll talk soon.